<laughs> so you just moved off grid. Or you're moving off grid. Or you thinking about moving off grid. And you want to know how to transfer water from a container, IBC tote, whatever you have, to your RV, shed, or tiny home. Stay tuned. Watch this video. Got a lot of information coming up. Drinking that drink. Smoking that dope. Giving up hope. Gang banging. Alright, so what we're doing right now is we're emptying out our IBC tote. Our goal is to transfer the water from this IBC tote to our RV. You, um, this applies in many different situations. You can apply this in a tiny home, whether you're trying to fill other IBC totes uh, as your water storage or you're trying to fill your fresh water tank uh, inside of your RV. This method will work. So what we have done is I mounted this one. I strapped this IBC tote. This is my mobile tote. This is what I use to fill up these two totes. So what I have here is I have a hose running to a water transfer pump. Um, we'll actually put the link in the description below where to get this. Um, and so I have just two small hose connects uh, and it goes to here. And so this, what this does, this is, this pump is gonna transfer the water from this tote to my uh, totes that I store. And so it's just as simple as hooking the two hoses up. <laughs> So in the situation where you wanted to just uh, refill your freshwater tanks from your IBC tote, then you would actually just use this water transfer pump and just, um, I mean, you would just run a hose, a short hose from the tote to the pump and then you would set your RV settings to uh, fresh fill or the refill your freshwater tank and then you would just run a longer hose or whatever kind of size hose you need in order to transfer the water from this to your fresh water tank. So second scenario, what we're gonna do is, what I chose to do was, um, instead of refilling uh, my fresh water tank in my RV, I decided to go with two IBC totes and use these as our water storage. The reason for that is, um, so the fresh water tank in the RV is only 60 gallons. Um, that with a family of four, two small children, we use about 15 to 20 gallons a day. So that would have me refilling, you know, pretty much two or three, four times a week. So instead we chose to go with this setup. And so as uh, where we left off, we're uh, using the transfer pump, the water transfer pump to get into these tanks. So now you have to get the water from these tanks to your RV. And so how you do that is you fix your settings on your RV to city water. So it would act as if you were uh, just say if you were camping and hooked up to a regular water spigot at any campsite or anywhere where you just getting uh, water from a spigot. You would set your settings to that. And then I just run a hose from here back over to my little special box that I have right here. So this is our on-demand water pump, and this is an accumulator tank. Um, I have this set up in my little box that I we made to protect it from the elements. Um, so these things, you're going to want to protect it from ex excessive sunlight and rain and things like that. And you want to also make sure that it doesn't get submerged in water. Um, this specific brand, it actually isn't that bad for running dry and by running dry I mean whenever you you have it plugged up and you don't have it connected to a water source we'll actually put the link in the description below where to get these these are very affordable um, I actually recommend these and so what we've done was we hooked up a water hose to our we hooked up a water hose to our reducer and so here you want to be careful when, with the IBC totes because each, every IBC tote has a different um, 
uh, reducer or spout. So you want to make sure of the threading that you're getting. Some threads are fine, some threads are coarse. But so I just uh, use the reducer sleeve and hook the water up to it. I can give you more details about that in a separate video. Let me get, let me know if you, that's something you guys would be interested in. And yeah, so um, we made this little box here simple, just a storage uh, container. We use a hole saw to cut holes here so that your holes can come out of, and as well as a hole on this side. And I mean that's a simple solution, man, but it's uh, practical in every off-grid situation. I hope this video was helpful. I hope it's able to help you solve your off-grid uh, water transfer uh, problems. Let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this, detailed videos on simple solutions for off-grid living. See you guys in the next one.